okay. remember that that's there. Remember it. Don't speak over Ken. No, because that is incredible, that it open. Is. Is. All right, if you plan on running or walking in the Flying Pig this coming May, now is the time to start running and building up that endurance. Our good friend Kenny Baker, he is kicking it this morning over in Marymount near uh, 50 West there, my part of the town there. Kenny, uh, you're getting us all set, right? I'm getting ready. Yeah, I'm not running myself, but I'm going to get you guys ready. I know Lauren is running. and She's ready. We're at Tri-State Running Company talking to the man with the plan, Cameron. Uh, you own, you got three stores, right? Three stores. That's correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Where are the stores at? We have one in Marymount, Ohio, uh, Edgewood, Kentucky, and Florence, Kentucky. Okay, so every year the Flying Pig and other races throughout the Tri-State, they bring out new people. They bring out people who've been running forever. Let's start with the new folks. And we've got different shoes here. This isn't, I'm just going to go pick my favorite color those are cute and do this thing right no absolutely right yeah we you know you need to come to see somebody get evaluated let somebody watch you run let's let somebody watch you walk and the idea is to kind of get you in the right foot if you get into a shoe that's you know may look cool it's not so cool when you're limping to the finish line and you get injured and so forth so having the right shoe is going to be so important for all you. right let's run through these three shoes so this one this it's hookah right hookah this hookah. is hookah so we get a lot of people come in our store and they say we want to wear the Hoka. Hoka has been very you know, in vogue lately. It's a kind of a cool looking shoe. It's got a lot of cushioning and so forth. And, you know, I try to talk to the person, find out what are you using it for? Why do you need it? Because while it may, you know, be the right shoe for you, it may not be. So we have to kind of understand what the, what the requirements are. We have a lot of people who just want to wear the shoe because of the fashion statement. Well, it's a great shoe. Let's kind of be open to different shoes as well. So the Hoka is a great shoe, got tons of cushioning, but let's uh, kind of talk through what you need it for. Who would use this shoe? So we sell this a lot to people who do a lot of like long distance runs, um, marathons, ultra marathons, half marathons. Surprisingly enough, we sell this to a lot of nurses, doctors, factory workers, people who are on their feet all day. Um, People who shouldn't wear this maybe are older people that have maybe balance issues because you got that high stack height. And I have people come in here. My mom needs to wear a shoe that's lot, that has lots of cushioning, and this may not be the best shoe for her. Okay, cool. What do we got? We got about one minute left to run through these okay. next. Okay, so this is a the 860 by New Balance. It has some support built into it. These are great for people that overpronate. People who roll in, they need extra support in their arches. This is a great shoe for them. Maybe less sexy, but it keeps them better aligned, which will prevent injury. Okay, and this last one? This is the uh, Brooks Ghost. This is probably our best-selling shoe in our lineup here. This is a great neutral shoe. It's a shoe designed for people who maybe don't overpronate, maybe people who land more in the midfoot to forefoot, and they don't need as much uh, correction. This shoe is great, though, for overpronators as well, who maybe uh, require like an insert. So you can put an insert in here, and you can get the support that way as well. So there's two ways of getting support a stability shoe or a neutral shoe that has an insert built into it. I was talking to Lauren Miner because she's going to be running this. One question that she said to throw out there is, how do you set the pace? How do you know where you should be when you're practicing and all that good stuff? So, you know, when we have our long runs on Saturday mornings, we tell people to run about a minute, minute and a half slower than their marathon pace. The reason why is you don't want to have your best run, you know, the weeks leading up to the marathon. You want to be ready to go on marathon day. And we have too many people who want to run fast on those Saturdays because, I don't know, they feel like it's uh, they're competing with their friends and so forth and that's a great way to get injured so you know those long runs should be easy we have workout days on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and those are the days where you run more uh, closer to marathon pace there but those Saturdays should be easy all right cool go nowhere because we got one more hour we got to talk about some stuff I'm gonna do some running Lauren I hope that uh, answers it your did. question and I got to give a shout out yeah. to Lauren Miner because I was telling her today she's like she's a normal person like me <laughs> and every time she talks about running I get this much closer to doing it you but should do it time. Okay. They well, do, they do a good job in that, that store there, right? It's right in the plaza, right uh, where Kroger is and stuff. Yeah, just across yeah. from Shell. You can't miss it. Yeah, yeah it's important to have the right <laughs> shoes because Dan Wells warned me that your toenails can fall off if you don't. And I had a toenail fall off.